This game sucks. Before I really start this review, I'm gonna sum up the two biggest takeaways you should get. The way Mario controls and the platforming, it's incredible. Mario has never felt more natural to play and has movements so addicting I often boot up the game just to jump around a bit. Everything else about this game is ass. You can easily tell that the game was rushed. Despite having the Nintendo seal of quality, there is a polish that is missing that is just the norm with most Nintendo games. The game is buggy, there are fewer levels in this game than 64, and there are parts of this game that just feel so barely thought out. Flood is a welcome addition to Mario's toolkit, and while playing the game, you get so accustomed to him. Every Mario game has some sort of jump delay feature, from the kick in 64, the spin in Galaxy, to Cappy in Odyssey. Flood takes this one step further though, you can literally just float in the air. You may think that something like this would break the game, and, and you're right. Anyways, you get so used to the abilities of Flood, and you start to incorporate him into your gameplay, making jumps that are not well aimed, but using him to compensate. This is all good fun, but then the game throws you a curveball. These levels. Suddenly, your Flood is taken away from you, and this game becomes surprisingly difficult. These kind of levels shouldn't be so hard, after all, I've beaten every other 3D Mario. But it's because the game has given you crutches this whole time, and now they kick them out from under you. You're taking baby steps without the Flood, and it's a lot of fun. These levels are the best part about Sunshine, and show how great Mario's moveset is. The dive, the backwards flip, and the greatest of all, the new spin jump. I hope this move makes a return one day, because it is seriously so satisfying. It's easy to mess up, but when performed well, it has a great reward, bringing you to spots that would have been difficult to reach otherwise. When praising a game, I often talk about its great level design, which challenges the player and is intuitive enough for a first playthrough, but complex enough to make repeat playthroughs exciting. Sunshine's level design is a problem. Chief among these is the hotel level. On your first playthrough, you have no idea what to do in this thing. You have to look for a specific path to find a pineapple for Yoshi. You look around for like 10 minutes and just cannot find the way. And finally you realize you were supposed to go into the bathroom, into this stall, jump on the toilet, and be catapulted into the ceiling. Obviously. What other way were you supposed to go? What are you, stupid? A lot of these levels do not seem well designed. Another example is Peanut Park. To defeat this boss, you have to come to the back here, climb these platforms, and shoot water, and make the platforms move. This shit just does not work. I hate this part, and I wrote a letter to Nintendo about my complaint. You are a bitch ass nigga. There are so many parts of this game to whine about, so I'm just gonna show a quick montage of every problem area in this game that's either not fun or just not functional. Just fall. Just no! Oh no! my god! Are you fucking kidding me? What happened? What happened? Unfortunately, as much as I love this game, I cannot give it an Anthony must play. But it's fun, I promise. As long as you don't play the following levels. Noki Bay, Peanut Park, Hotel Delfino, Corona Mountain, Pianta Village. About half the game. <laughs> 